This is a good idea at all. Not the Lady Gaga part, the musical part. Why? Oh, I'm extremely skeptical about this. It could all turn out to be an absolutely fabulous idea. However, my gut instincts tell me no. It says here <laughs> the Joker is back, and this time he's bringing a friend. Lady Gaga is in her early talks to star opposite of Joaquin Phoenix. In director Todd Phillips' <laughs> sequel to The Joker in the 2019 Oscar winning $1 billion Warner Bros. hit based on the DC character, which was not a musical. Phillips has been co writing the script with Joker co writer Scott Silver some time and has finally shown it to the studio. Last week, Phillips revealed on social media that the title of the project is Joker. I can't pronounce that. The title referring, uh, referencing a medical term for an identical or similar mental disorder order that affects two or more individuals, usually members of the same family. And while the... <laughs> I just got done watching all three Psychos, and that reminds me of that. Psycho 1, Psycho 2, Psycho 3. Watch them. That's some interesting stuff. And while the same social media post showed Phoenix re uh, reading the script, the actor's involvement is not exactly a legal <clears throat> fate uh, accomplished just yet. Sources tell The Hollywood Reporter that Warner has yet to close a deal with the actor uh, with the two sides deep into it. In Psycho, I think in Psycho 3, like it turns out that it's not what you think it is as far as that old family disease thing. But anyway, enter Gaga. Details on her character are being kept under wraps, but Joker is known for his on-off abusive relationship with Harley Quinn, his psychiatrist, at the mental institution known as Arkham Asylum, who falls in love with him and becomes his sidekick and partner in crime. It is unclear whether Phillips and company are using other DC characters or striking on their own, they, as they did in many instances in the first movie. The deal makes <clears throat> Gaga would play Quinn. However, this new Quinn exists in a, a different DC universe than the Margot Robbie Harley Quinn, which most uh, recently appeared in uh, The Suicide Squad. But wait, that's not all. Sources say the sequel is also a musical. Uh, Warner Media, Warner first made Joker. When Warner, just, I'm just, when Warner first made Joker, it was far from a short thing dark and moody character piece. The project was a taxi driver meets King's King of Comedy descent into madness set in the late 70s. The King City commercial prospects were deemed nominal and it was only budgeted at 60 million. By the time it was released in October 2019, Joker was riding a wave of adulation from the fall film festivals, which helped propel the movie into a record-breaking opening weekend. The box office analysis 
changing their prediction every day. And it ended its run as the number four highest grossing rated R movie of all time. And uh, it then earned 11... Uh, what's the first? Someone tell me. What's the first? No, tell me what's the first First three. What's the top three? Earned 11 Oscar nominations, including Best Picture and one Best Actor. Of course, we all know that. Phillips previously produced A Star Is Born, <clears throat> the 2018 remake that starred Joker producer Bradley Cooper. And he got a guy. Um, listen... Listen, <laughs> for me, I'm not a fan of mu musicals. I'm really not. Like, you know, there's only a couple of musicals that I like, and I don't know if it's a nostalgia thing, you know, but growing up as a kid, I liked Mary Poppins and, of course, The Wizard of Oz. And I still like them to this day. Um, and... You know, there's Disney, you know, I like playing at Disney films, and Disney films tend to be musicals, kind of. Um, but, I don't, I just got a bad feeling that this is not the way to go with this. I could be absolutely wrong, and I will do a review of it when it comes out and say that I was absolutely wrong, and this is a fabulous film and all this other stuff. I am a man to the bone. I will tell you if I'm wrong and apologize if I am wrong. But I'm telling you right now, I don't think this is going to work. I want more of what I got with the first one. That's what sequels usually are. More of what you got with the first one. Usually bigger and badder. And, you know, that doesn't always make a better sequel at all. However, I just want more of what I got. The first one. A great story. Great acting. And um, that's it. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all thought. If you enjoyed my reaction to this news, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Oh, boy.